Hi friends, hello and welcome to the 90 days to catch series and in this part we are talking about trigonometry. We'll revise the concepts and we'll also solve actual CATS ad questions from trigonometry. You've already seen the concept booster cards which have been posted on Instagram. If you have any triangle, let's say a right triangle here, then there is something called a perpendicular base and height. A lot of people are confused between base and perpendicular. Always remember, it, it depends on the angle that you take. If the angle here is theta, then the base is the adjacent and the perpendicular is the opposite. I hope that part is clear. After that, you define some ratios. For example, tan of the angle is perpendicular upon base and inverse or reciprocal of sine is cosec, which is hypotenuse upon perpendicular reciprocal of cos is sec which is h upon b hypotenuse upon base and reciprocal of tan is cot which is base upon perpendicular one thing that we'll all need to do which is very very important from cat standpoint is the trigonometric table so trigonometric table we don't need to remember for 180 270 360 but till 90 is something which we will have to remember also one thing which is very obvious if you know sin cos then you can calculate tan also right because tan is sin upon cos and you can calculate rest also sin reciprocal is cosec cos reciprocal is sec tan reciprocal is cot so as long as you know sin and cos you are good to go cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta effectively if you just know cos theta or sin theta for any angle you can calculate all other ratios right so, similarly you can write sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta imagine i know sin 30 right so for example sin 30 is 1 by 2 so what will be cos 30 so cos square 30 will be 1 minus sin square 30 so square of 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 so cos square 30 is equal to 3 by 4 so cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2 I hope this is clear to you. Trigonometry ke andar kuch key properties hain. Let's understand these properties. For any angle, let's say this angle is x. Now for this angle, understand this angle, this side will be perpendicular which is opposite to this angle. And the adjacent side is base. And opposite to 90 is hypotenuse. So if let's say this angle is 90, this angle is x. So this angle must be 90 minus x. Now for this angle sin of x will be equal to perpendicular upon height and for this angle cos of 90 minus x will be equal to this will be base so perpendicular upon height. So you can see that sin x and cos 90 minus x are equal. Similarly you can derive cos x is equal to sin 90 minus x. And what's the application? Sin of 30 is equal to cos of 60 or sin of 45 is equal to cos of 45 sin of 60 is equal to cos of 90 minus 60 which is cos of 30 so you can use these properties as well the rest of all of it can be derived from here these three we have already covered in the last part i hope this is clear to you take a screenshot keep it handy with you so that you know you can revise it you don't need to spend a lot of time in trigonometry and hence i'm making this so that you know you don't have to do it as well and you don't skip it as well right so next is sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 we've already seen this in the in the last slide sine square x is equal to 1 minus cos square x that's one apart from this what else do we have we have two more which is sec square x is 1 plus tan square x and cosec square x is 1 plus cot square x you can verify these using value of x for example let's say take 30 degrees and you can verify these apart from this there are three more sin 2x is equal to 2 sin x cos x imagine i know sin 30 and cos 30 so i can calculate sin 60 also sin 60 will be equal to 2 into sin 30 1 by 2 into cos 30 root 3 by 2 so sin 60 becomes root 3 by 2 if I have sin x cos x, I can calculate sin 2x using this formula. Similarly, cos 2x, let's say I know values of 30, I can calculate 60. So cos 60 will be cos square 30 minus sin square 30. 
वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस्ट थर्टी इज रूट थ्री बाई टू सो स्क्वायर माइनस वैल्यू ऑफ साइन थर्टी विच इज वन बाई टू सो स्क्वायर सो दिस बिकम्स थ्री बाई फोर माइनस वन बाई फोर बिकम्स टू बाई फोर विच इज वन बाई टू सो कॉस्ट सिक्सटी इज वन बाई टू सो इफ यू नो वैल्यूज ऑफ थर्टी यू कैन डिराइव सिक्सटी ऑल्सो यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला एंड फाइनली लेट्स से यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट टैन टू एक्स विच इज गिवन एज टू टैन एक्स अपॉन वन माइनस टैन स्क्वायर एक्स सो लेट्स से I know tan 30. I want to calculate tan 60. So tan 60 will be 2 into tan 30. So what is now tan 30? Sin 30 is 1 by 2. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So tan 30 will be 1 by root 3, right? So 1 by root 3 you've taken here. 1 minus 1 by root 3 square. So 1 by 3. So this is 2 upon root 3, and this is 2 upon 3. So what is the value of tan 60? Root 3. See here. What is the value of tan 60? Root 3. So you you have derived it. From here, so you knew the value of tan 30. You derive tan 60 from here. I hope this is clear to you. So these are some of the key properties of trigonometry. Now let's try and apply these into some questions, some basic questions first. A 10 meter long flagstaff. This question was part of the booster cards also. Some of you have solved it on Instagram. Let's have a look at it. How do we solve it? There is a flagstaff here, which is 10 meters. From a point on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top and bottom of the flag staff are 60 and 45. From any point here, the angle of elevations are 60 and 45. So this angle is 60 and this angle is 45. Find the height of the tower. Okay, so let's say this is the height of the tower. Let's say height of the tower is x. Now we know that tan 45, which is perpendicular upon base, is equal to 1. So if this is x, this is also x. We also know that tan 60 is root 3. We, you know, calculated just now. What is this? This whole thing is x plus 10. So x plus 10 divided by x is equal to what? Equal to root 3 because tan 60. Your value of x will become 10 upon root 3 minus 1. Now we don't have anything in the denominator. So what do we do? We will rationalize it. Root 3 plus 1. Root 3 plus 1. So this becomes 10 into root 3. Plus one in the denominator, you will get three minus one, which is two. So this becomes five into root three plus one. So answer is answer option A. I hope this is clear to you. A man is watching from the top of a tower. A boat speeding away from the tower. Okay, so there is this tower. There is a boat which is speeding away. Now the angle of depression from the top of the tower to the boat is sixty degree when the boat is eighty meters. Like let's say in this situation, this is eighty meters away. Angle of depression. From the horizontal here, this is the angle 60. So if this is the angle 60 by basic geometry, alternate angle this will be 60. After 10 seconds, the angle of depression becomes 30. Now the boat you know moves away, and therefore the angle of depression reduces to 30 now. Again same using the same concept, this will be 30 degrees, and this happens after 10 seconds, right? So what is the speed of the boat? Let's understand this. Very very clearly. See this angle is sixty. What is the value of tan sixty? We have seen just now. The value of tan sixty is root three, which basically means that the height of this tower must be eighty root three. Eighty root three divided by eighty will be root three. Now, what is tan thirty? Tan thirty is one by root three, which means that this must be eighty root three into root three. So this becomes two forty. So boat has moved by. 160 meters in 10 seconds so what's the speed 16 meters per second i hope this is clear to you now let's apply these concepts in actual cat questions now let's see have a look at this question this question looks to you looks like a algebra question and that is how you generally get questions from trigonometry the number of real roots 2 cos x x plus 1 is 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power minus x now this 2 to the power x plus 1 by 2 to the power x No matter what number you take, this will be a positive number. And I am pretty sure you all know a plus one by a is always greater than equal to two. How do you derive this? Arithmetic mean greater than equal to geometric mean. What is arithmetic mean of a and one by a? Let's say there are two numbers a and one by a. Arithmetic mean is a plus one by a divided by two. And geometric mean will be equal to a into one by a raised to the power half. So this becomes one. So arithmetic mean is greater than equal to geometric mean. A plus one by a by two is greater than equal to one. So a plus one by a is greater than equal to two. So this part right hand side is greater than equal to two. This is 
टू इंटू कॉस ऑफ समथिंग कॉस ऑफ समथिंग मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन सो देर फोर द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज टू वी कैन से दैट दिस एल एच एस विच इज लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज लेस देन इक्वल टू टू नाउ दिस इज लेस देन इक्वल टू टू दिस इज मोर देन इक्वल टू टू दे कैन बी इक्वल एट एग्जैक्टली वन पॉइंट विच इज वेन दे आर इक्वल टू टू सो टू कॉस एक्स इंटू एक्स प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू टू वेन विल इट हैपन वेन एक्स एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो यू हेव सीन द टेबल इफ यू रिमेंबर द टेबल यू नो इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर दैन फाइंडिंग आउट ओके सो रिमेंबर द टेबल वील गेट वन हियर एट जीरो दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एक्स कैन बी इक्वल टू जीरो और एक्स कैन बी इक्वल टू माइनस वन नाउ टू टू द पावर एक्स प्लस टू टू द पावर माइनस एक्स इफ दिस इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू टू इट विल हैपन ओनली वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेन यू टेक एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू टू सो वट इज द कॉमन वैल्यू द नंबर ऑफ रियल रूट्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन सो हियर एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो हियर ऑल्सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज द ओनली सोल्यूशन पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ रियल रूट्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन द आंसर इज वन मूविंग फॉरवर्ड इन द ट्रिपीजियम ए बी सी डी द साइड्स ए बी एंड सी डी आर पैरल अगेन ट्रिग्नोमेट्री लास्ट क्वेश्चन अप्लाइड इन एलजेब्रा ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इन दिस क्वेश्चन अप्लाइड इन जियोमेट्री राइट यू कैन सी दिस द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन बी एस सी एंड साइन बी ए डी दिस इज एन एक्चुअल जैट क्वेश्चन लेट से आई ड्रॉ दी हाइट हियर इन अ ट्रपीजियम लेट से दिस इज एच दिस इज एच साइन ऑफ एंगल बी एस सी सो दैट विल बिकम हाइट अपॉन ए सी एंड साइन ऑफ एंगल बी ए डी इन द ट्राइंगल लेट से दिस इज पी डी पी ए विल बिकम साइन ऑफ एंगल बी ए डी विल बी एच अपॉन ए डी सो इफ यू डिवाइड बी एस सी बाई बी ए डी यू विल गेट ए डी अपॉन ए सी सो वट्स द आंसर ए डी अपॉन ए सी द आंसर इज आंसर ऑप्शन डी आई होप दिस इज ऑल्सो क्लियर टू यू Keep moving forward. Very simple questions you will get from trigonometry. Don't skip the topic. Actual Z question again. A boat stationed at north of a lighthouse is making an angle of 30 degree with the top of the lighthouse. Simultaneously, another boat stationed at east of the same lighthouse is making an angle of 45 degrees with the top of the lighthouse. The height of the lighthouse is 300 feet. Now, uh, imagine the diagram. It's slightly difficult in a 2D to make this diagram in a 2D. but i hope you will all be able to imagine this let's see so there is a boat stationed at north of lighthouse making angle of 30 degrees with the top so there is let's say this is lighthouse now there is a boat which is which is to the north and it's making an angle of 30 degree with the lighthouse so this is one plane you know from this point this is north you know which is stationed in the east from that the angle that it makes is 45 45 degrees here and here it is making 30 degrees obviously you know these these lines will be perpendicular to each other because one direction is north one direction is east i hope you are able to imagine this difficult to draw in a 2d but imagine and you will be able to understand now if this is 300 so if you see this angle is 30 so what is the value of tan 30 the value of tan 30 will be 1 by root 3 so if this is 300 this must be 300 root 3 and because this is 45 tan of 45 will be equal to 1 so this is 300 this is also 300 now when will you get the shortest distance the shortest distance is when this angle is is equal to 90 and this is the hypotenuse so in that case what will happen in that case the the shortest distance will be equal to 300 root 3 square plus 300 square right i hope this is clear to you now you just take 300 out here this becomes 3 plus 1 this becomes 300 into 2 which is equal to 600 feet i hope this is clear to you so in this question again you have seen an application if you are able to visualize this problem you should be able to solve this i hope that you enjoyed this thank you so much keep enjoying keep studying and god bless you all